If your Starfield is crashing or failing to launch, this tutorial is for you. I'm going to start with the most obvious solutions. These are some of the things I learned from Starfield players on Reddit, who said it actually fixed their Starfield crashing errors. Okay, let's start with the most simple solution. Go to your Start button. Type Device Manager and click on Device Manager option. On this window, locate Display Adapters tab. Open Display Adapters tab and locate your video card driver by name. Mine is NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 with only 6 gigabytes of memory. Yours obviously could be different, like AMD Radeon. Okay, right-click on your graphics card and select Update Driver option. Click on Search Automatically for Drivers. Looks like I have the latest driver already installed, but it helps to make sure. If you updated your drivers and restarted computer and Starfield is still crashing, let's go to the next step. Go to the NVIDIA Drivers link provided in the description of this video. Select your video card in the drop-down options and click Download button to download NVIDIA drivers for your card and an updated version of the NVIDIA control panel software. Once installed, restart your computer and go to Start button again. Type NVIDIA and click NVIDIA control panel option. Okay, here, you want to locate the Manage 3D Settings link under 3D Settings. Click on that and here you have two tabs, Global Settings and Program Settings. The second one here is for changing graphics card settings specifically for Starfield. You can choose it from this drop-down, but it's the same if you just go to Global Settings, which will apply it to all games. Scroll down and find Vertical Sync. Make sure it's turned on. This is one way of locking your frame rate to 60 FPS. Placing a cap on your frame rate has actually helped some of the Starfield players to avoid it crashing when reaching certain areas in the game. Another way to lock your FPS is scrolling to Max Frame Rate option. Click on Max Frame Rate and use this controller to set your frames per second to lock at a specific frame rate. I'll set it to 60 FPS. Click OK. Then click Apply and exit this window. Try launching your Starfield again. I know it sounds frustrating, but you can also try to disable PBO and BIOS settings. PBO, or Precision Boost Overdrive, refers to AMD's intelligent boosting algorithm. It works alongside its standard Precision Boost. It tweaks limits of standard CPU boost behavior and accounting for factors like temperatures and type of workload. Okay, to disable PBO, restart your computer and go to your BIOS settings by pressing F2 while it's restarting. Once you enter BIOS, disable PBO. This helped at least one player on Reddit. Also another fix for AMD owners. Head over to this link in description of this video and download latest AMD drivers. Select your operating system, whether it be Windows 10 or 11. Download and install the AMD drivers. Now launch the AMD settings control panel. It'll look something like this. Look for chill option. That's right, it's called chill. And shortcut to enable it is the F11 key. Make sure chill is on. Doing this also has helped at least one player on Reddit. Okay, one more thing. Well, there is more than one, just keep watching. But this might work if your Starfield is still crashing even with chill on. Go to Task Manager and close some of the applications that are taking up too much CPU resources. Another thing that might work is updating your Windows operating system. Go to Start. Type Windows Update. This is helpful if you're someone who paused their Windows updates in the past. Make sure to get all the latest updates. Here, click on Check for Updates button, then download and install whatever is shown on this list here. If your Starfield is still not launching or crashing, go to Start button, type msconfig and click System Configuration. Here, go to Services tab. Make sure Hide All Microsoft Services checkbox is checked. Then click on Disable All button. Click Apply and OK. Restart your computer and try launching Starfield again. Once in Starfield settings, go to Display option. Here, navigate down to where it says Upscaling. Make sure FSR or FSR2 is turned off. Oh, and also, go up here where it says Render Resolution Scale, and turn this down to something between 50 and 75%. Okay, if Starfield is still crashing, there are two more things you can do. They'll work for other games too, so I am simply displaying them on the screen right now. First, you can cap your frame rate to 60 FPS or lower. Tutorial for that is on the screen right now. You can also try and verify integrity of game files on Steam. Link is on the screen. Hope this helps. Good luck out there.